Mindsetters, welcome to today's Grade 12 Physical Sciences Show, proudly brought to you by Macmillan. Today we have a special revision lesson on chemical change. We have selected highlights from lessons shown early in the term to help you revise and prepare for your June exams. You can download the notes for today's show from learnextra.co.za forward slash live. Now it's time to get on with today's lesson. Please post your comments and questions on our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash learn extra or on Twitter at learn extra so we can help you with your revision. Here we have, and don't get like, oh, it's so much writing. Oh, no, it's a lot of writing. It's okay. We can do this. So it says to us, pieces of copper, which is there at the bottom of our test tube, are covered by an excess, too much, con too much, okay, so what that means is the copper determines how much product we get, of concentrated nitric acid in a test tube, okay? I'm hoping you've actually seen this reaction at some stage, though this gas is horrible, and if you get it on your hands, trust me, I know, it actually turns your hands brown. That's how I get it, and it's not a pretty, pe bra not a like pretty a tan brown. brown. No, it's, it's a not, and then it p it's not pretty. I've learned. That's Wear nasty. gloves. This is why people get worried when I touch chemicals. Anyway, so a reddish brown gas forms in the reaction, and it is noted that the content, contents of the test tube become hot. It's an exothermic reaction. The test tube is then is connected via a tube to a gas syringe, and the gas is collected in the syringe. So I can collect the gas in the, my syringe, which means I could also determine, um, look at volume collected per unit time. Anything to that effect depends on what the question would want. Now it says, how will each of the following changes in conditions, okay, so we're changing the conditions of the reaction, temperature, concentration, all of those sort of things, affect the rate at which the gas develops? So they're saying, will it make it go faster, slower, or make no difference whatsoever? And note, and guys, this is a little bit of an exam technique. It says, write only increases, decreases, or stays the same. Please don't write an explanation. If you need to think it through, okay, and I know there's a lot of you out there, I have kids who are the same, who when they think it through, they actually need to write it down. That's fine. Do it on your question paper. Then on your answer sheet, only write increase, decrease, or stays the same. Because if I can't find your answer, I can't give you marks. And often, you go nowhere and you actually forget to answer the question. So you have this wonderful explanation but you don't actually answer, and you don't actually ever say increases, decreases, or remains the same. So, first thing, more copper is used. Now we go, hang on, wait. Did we look at anything to do with the amount in terms of reaction rate? No. What would change the reaction with the copper is if I changed the state of the copper. So if I went from, instead of using granulated copper, which just means it's bigger pieces, I used powder, or I made it into a solid chunk. But I didn't, I just used more. All that means is I'm gonna make more product. But it does absolutely nothing for the rate. So that means this stays the same. So there's all this writing, and you write three words. Okay, two marks. Then they say to us, the temperature of the acid is increased. We've just spoken about it. If I increase the temperature, I will increase the rate. So that means this is increased. Okay, and then more concentrated HNO3 is used. Now we're going to go think this through and we go, okay, they said to us that we had excess... HNO3, this is actually really badly worded, because are they saying to us, and they would actually state this better nowadays, are they saying to us that we're just using more HNO3, so we're using a greater volume, or are they saying to you that the HNO3 is of a greater concentration? Makes it more difficult. With the context of the question, I think they're actually just saying they use more. And if they use more, it makes, sorry, my earpiece is just not happy with my glasses today. Just Don't worry. so you know. It's all right. Joe's wearing glasses. I'm now fine. If we take it from the point of view of saying, well, I'm just adding more HNO3, then nothing, rate stays the same. doesn't matter because it was in excess. But if I take this to mean that 
the HNO3 is now more concentrated, so it's a higher concentrated concentration. Then what happens to the rate? Remember, if we increase concentration, we will increase the rate. So it increased. Not so bad. And I think I have just enough time to do another question, which I deliberately put in, because if you've seen the notes, you're going to go, hang on, wait, Tracy. You didn't do anything with graphs. It's what we call a little bit of extension. You guys can manage this. I know you can. Oh, far too wordy. doesn't matter. We have a beaker that contains a dilute solution of H2SO4, volume 140 centimeters cubed, the concentration of the acid 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed, temperature 25 degrees. Sodium carbonate powder is then added to the sulf um, sulfuric acid solution to exactly neutralize the acid. Remember, you did acids and bases in grade 11. This is a type of question we could use there. The balanced equation is given. The reaction rate of the above reaction is investigated, and then we get the graph. So this is a reaction rate graph. At the beginning, from 0 to 100 seconds, the rate right at the top, very fast at the beginning. Why? Lots of stuff in the reaction. As the reaction happens, we use up the reactants. The less reactants there are, the less particles there are, the less they collide. The less they collide, the slower the reaction. Okay? So it gets slower and slower and slower till it reaches this point and now it stays the same. It's reached completion. It's finished. No more product being formed. And in fact, the volume here is the, ga is the gas that's formed. Once that volume stays constant, no more gas is being formed. Now the first question is, how long did the reaction between the two solutions take to re reach completion? We've just done that. 100 seconds. Okay, over here, 100 seconds. Number two, according to the graph, and I've also just explained this, the rate, the reaction rate is, is a maximum directly after the two reactants have been added together. Give an explanation for this. When they get added together, it's the time when we have the most number of particles available for bonding or available for the reaction to take place. The more particles we have, the greater the rate of reaction because we can have more collisions, okay? Now, last question. They say, an identical sample of Na2, um, sodium carbonate powder is added to a solution again with a concentration of 0,1. Concentration didn't change. A catalyst is now added to the reaction mixture while the temperature is kept constant. All they're doing now is they're saying to you, I'm doing the same reaction, but now I'm adding a catalyst. I'm changing a condition. And then they give you this. And the question becomes, it says to you, if graph one, so the one I'm going to put in yellow, this one over here, represents the original conditions, the first graph, which one, two, three, or four, represents what happens when I add a catalyst? A catalyst increases the rate of reaction. It has no effect on the final outcome. So it can't be four because four saying that I have a greater volume of gas, never going to happen. So it's got to be two or three. Now, rate of reaction, if we're going to add a catalyst, it's got to go faster, which means it's got to reach completion faster. It has to be graph number two, this one. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me do the green. This graph. Okay, and I'm about to run out of time. It's got to be that graph because it's steeper. The steeper it is, the faster it goes. Okay, gets to the same final concentration of gas because we use the same amounts of stuff. Okay. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying this revision session. If you are struggling and need help, remember to post on the page or send an email to helpdesk at learnextra.co.za. We have got such exciting news for you. From July, a new program starts on Mindset, just for you. It's called Connections. We'll chat about the issues that affect your life, your school, and your relationships. We'll have fun. Take your calls and have great prizes up for grabs. Connections, from the 1st of July, half past seven in the evening, only on Mindset. For you, by you.